Hello, May Flom here, and hello, Summer. We're going to be making a canvas today utilizing our scan and cut. Now, I am starting with some words that I printed off the computer. There's a lot of different ways that you can go about this. The text converter tool, you can create an SVG file, you can use a built-in design, but this time I'm using word art that I printed out and I'm going to go into my scan and cut. I'm working with the SDX 230D model. And I'm going to go in and go ahead and scan my words and create my own cut files in this way. With the built-in scanner, this is absolutely one of my favorite features of the machine. And yes, all of the scan and cut models have that built-in scanner. Now, once it has scanned in and is recognized, we're going to pick one word at a time. And I'm going to do two different things. So I'm going to pick just the outline because I only want on the hello, I only want the outside line to cut. I don't want the inside line to cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to click preview and everything looks great. So I'm just going to press okay and I'm going to save it to my machine. And then once that is saved, I am going to move my box over to the summer, and it does take just a moment. And once it is, we can say, okay, now I'm just going to switch to the inside line and the outside line, and I'm gonna move this down and resize it for summer. And the reason is the inside of that S, I want that to cut out. So doing that fixes that, and repeat the process. It is that simple, it is that easy. Once we're done with that, we go back in, we go into retrieve data, we find our file, we pick it, edit. And what I'm doing here is to unify. So selecting all, and we'll do that again with the other files, selecting all to unify so that it moves as one word instead of as all the separate cuts. And after I get that out of the way, I'm going to repeat that by adding it in. And by the way, just a note here, you can add in patterns. You don't just have to add in the cut files you could that you've made. So you can add in as much stuff as you want. Me, I'm going to go in here, hello. And again, the red box we're going to do, we're going to edit. And this time I'm going to select the region so I can select all the files in that area. Object, edit, and unify. That's all you have to do to turn a bunch of letters into one file. And then I can edit this and size it. And I can determine how large I want the hello with regards to and in comparison to the summer. I want it a little smaller. I want it to fit in just like so. Once I am happy with this though, we're going to cut this out. Now I'm going to cut this out of sticker vinyl. It could be any color whatsoever. You could possibly do this out of paper. However, sticker vinyl is going to be your best friend for this because it's going to stick, it's going to hold, and it's going to do a really good job. Now, utilize the half cut feature, which means with half cut turned on that the design cut out, but as you can see, the sticker paper backing did not cut. And that is in fast, that is in fast forward. I am not able to cut, to actually weed that quickly, but you can see here how nice it looks. You can see how good it looks. Now to get this perfectly from the backing paper onto our canvas, I'm going to utilize transfer material. You can purchase transfer material. And basically what it does is it helps you just what the name implies, pick up the design and transfer it over to your project. And this works for absolutely any project you're doing with sticker vinyl and you're trying to transfer whether it's onto plastic, onto glass, onto a wall, or onto a canvas. So this is an untreated, just a regular 12 by 12 canvas that I'm working on here. And once I've determined where I want my design to be, I'm going to go ahead and start pressing down. I'm gonna use firm pressure and really press down as much as is needed. And once it is firmly pressed, I will begin lifting off. Now, if it is getting stuck, I will repeat this process of pressing. I will also kind of assist as I lift up, I will assist the vinyl and encourage it to stick down. If you get a funny spot where it lifts up, and I'm about to show you one just to show you an example, see how that's gonna go whoop and lift up? Don't panic. Just go ahead and start gently placing it from one area that you know to be correct. And as you do, and as you can see, the lumps will work out and it will work out just fine. So this is our vinyl on our canvas. Now we are ready to color. 
We are going to start by coloring with plain white paint or gesso, whatever you have. And we're going to coat most definitely the middle, but the whole canvas is fine as well. Two reasons I do this. Number one, this ensures that there is white paint against all of my vinyl, which is important for the very end. I wanna make sure there's that layer of white paint. And number two, it just gives us a really nice primer base to now start on. So I'm going to use, these are just regular acrylic paints, and I'm gonna take my little tubes of acrylic paints, one at a time, squirt them across the middle here, and just repeat with all of the colors that I would like to use. Once I have all of the colors that I like, I'm going to then, I'm gonna get a popsicle stick, but you could use a lot of different things. You could use a piece of paper, you could use a very large paintbrush, and I'm going to swipe back and forth carefully to create stripes of color and to move that paint around my canvas. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but that is the general effect that I'm going for to get this cool painted effect that we're going to find when this project is all the way done. So we're going to want to, if there's excess paint on there, you can keep swiping it to get it off. You'll just want to make sure that you stay with the same direction so that you're not switching the colors up or mixing the colors more than you want to. Once this is done, you can use a paintbrush to clean it up, to finish up. We can also add more additional paint and I will be showing you doing that in just a moment. But we can really get in here now and just spread that paint around. The one thing you're really gonna wanna watch is where are those letter stickers? We want to be aware of where those are and we want to make sure that our paint, our colorful paint, is fully around and fully covering. Now what you see me doing here with my paper towel, I'm doing two things. Number one, I'm creating an awesome texture. And number two, I'm removing some of the paint. Why would I do this? Well, it's because I want a certain look. I want kind of a distressed aged look here. And this is going to help me. Now, if it takes too much paint off, don't worry, we can always come in here. I'm flicking some water down to kind of help me spread the paint that's on there. And if it's still not enough, we can always add more paint. That's important to remember in painting projects. You can always bring more paint in if need be. If things start to get a little muddy, a little messy and causing a problem, guess what? You are just going to let that paint dry so that when you go to paint over it, it's not just blending more. And you can dab as much as you want, you can blend as much as you want, or keep it as straightforward as you like. This really gets into personal preference and it really is a lot of fun. Here you see me adding some dots of color and now with a foam brush, continuing to spread those dots of color around. That's really so that I get the look I want and I'm also trouble spotting. So I'm seeing spots where I can see my letter stickers. However, I don't see paint, I just see white. And I don't want that. I want colorful paint all the way around my letter stickers. So I'm just going through fixing that all up as need be. And another thing that you can do, I mentioned wait till the paint dries and then add. Once the paint is dry as well, if there are areas where you wish there was less color, for example, on mine at the top and bottom, I would like a little less color. I would like a little more of a white edge. I can go in here with the white paint and I can adjust that, I can fix it. It's not a problem whatsoever. Always remind yourself of that. These projects are very forgiving for that reason. Once I have the paint all the way how I like it, and you can wait till it's dry or not for this next part, it really doesn't matter. You're gonna take your pick tool and very carefully and very gently locate edges of the words and the letters and lift and watch this magic. It is so neat. And what I love about this is it lets you have a really cool painted look, but it's also word art, but it's also super simple to do. We can all do it. And I love that. There is just so much, so much joy in these kinds of projects. And it's all made easy by a little bit of vinyl and of course, my trusty scan and cut that I use to create these projects. And that sticker vinyl will come off easily off of your 
canvas. However, and this is why I said I don't recommend the paper, because it is sticker vinyl, it is really going to stick to that until you change your mind. So you don't have to worry about any smearing or any of the sticker vinyl going elsewhere, going where it should, should not be. Once you are at this point, you are done if you would like, unless there's anything else you would like to add, in which case, of course, it's your project and your creativity. You are welcome to add whatever you might like. I hope you have enjoyed this happy Hello Summer Canvas project and a, yet another idea for your Scan and Cut. Stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the Brother YouTube channel for more project ideas and inspiration all the time.